Polyribosomes or polysomes are just a cluster of ribosomes in a row or within the same area. And that's usually anywhere from 3 to 10 ribosomes. Now the thing that's actually unifying them and keeping them together is this guy here, which is our good old friend, messenger RNA. And of course, we know that messenger RNA is involved in the process of translation. That's the process of protein production within the ribosome itself. And the messenger RNA is going through specific areas known as the small subunit, and specifically the E site, the P site, and the A site within the ribosome, which are the areas of translation. Now, the purpose of a polyribosome is just to increase the speed at which translation takes place. So how fast is this process actually occurring in the first place? Well, two amino acids are being added on to each polypeptide chain at each ribosome every single second. So you can imagine if you've got 10 ribosomes within a polyribosome, that's going to be a total of 20 amino acids being added on to 10 separate polypeptide chains, right? So two amino acids onto each polypeptide chain. And the ribosomes within a polyribosome are going to be a set distance apart, at least 80 nucleotides, right? So equal to or more than 80 nucleotides apart. That's a quick summary of a polyribosome, also known as a polysome.